we are learning uh, Daf Tes of Lukut Etera. Uh, we are starting at the bottom of Daf Ches. The Mimer is Lahavin Inyan Musamea Chasun Bikala. This Mimer is all, all about the Chasun and Kala and their relationship. So the Chasun and Kala are, correspond to Yaakov and Rachel. That Rachel is uh, is is, is Malchus of Atzilus as it is clothed in Bia. Rachel is creation. And in the perspective of, from the perspective of creation, God has to be hidden. And Rachel is uh, is is that Rachel is the is the hidden version of God, so to speak, the hidden version version of of, of revelation. Yaakov is the exact opposite. Yaakov is from the word Yibaka, which means to break or to burst through. Yaakov is the uh, Yaakov represents the bursting through of of revelation, and the re- particularly the revelation of of God, um, as he is, as he is saviv, meaning God in 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 his in as he is a creator, and so the unity of Rachel and and Yaakov, the Chassan and Kala, represents the ability to understand the presence of God in the most profound way, while um, while within the context of creation. And the Alter Rebbe explains that the way that this is done th- is through Simcha. Uh, through joy, which is why we say Sameach to Samach Reim Ha'ohuvim under the Chuppah, that we we talk a lot about the, the the joy. And what works, what we are referencing is the fact that through that the that the joy bur- <coughs> breaks these boundaries and uh, and 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 provides the understanding within creation that the. Of, of the reality of of God, and that that is our prayer under the um, under the chuppah, that this uh, that this marriage should accomplish that that revelation. Now, the way that this works, the Alter Rebbe is going to explain in the second mimer. The, the second mimer is v'haya ar halavana ar achama, and in this mimer he talks about the nature of the um, of the chasen and the nature of the kala and their source. So he explains. That the nature of the law is that it is by nature uh, the kala she is by nature the, it, it is by nature a level that is uh, lower in that it is a level at which uh, God is concealed, and whereas the chasen is the 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 the, the abaka is the is the breaker that reveals. Now, but what we say at, at the chuppah is meheri yeshama bar yehuda kol chasen v'kol kala. And so the Alter Rebbe explains that what we're asking for under the chuppah is that we should hear the the kala's voice. We should hear the kol kol, kol kala, meaning that the uh, that we should that we should merit to understand. We should, from the perspective of creation, the unity of creation, and so that both the 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 kala. And even the chasen, because even at the chasen level, even at the revelation level, the fact that revelation cannot go everywhere means that even from the perspective of revelation, there's something missing. And we are uh, we are praying that we reach the times of Mashiach that those <coughs> will uh, that, that 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 we that we will be able to um, that we will be able to see that unity. And the the way that we do that is continue the the, the the, uh, the the blessing continues by saying kol mitzales chasanim uchupasam that the the the, uh, the the joyous voice of the chasanim from their or the or the grooms from their uh, from from their chuppah the narim imishta niginasam and the young men with the with their uh, with their uh, musical parties so. What the Alter Rebbe explains is that the chasan that the, this this represents two levels in service of God. The chasan is the is the higher level. The, the chasan um, is is connects to God by meditation, and the chasan meditates on on God in a way that brings him from this joy, and that and the and the joy is such that he and his understanding of God is such. That he is able to um, that that it, that it surrounds him like a chuppah. It provides him with this sense of makif, with this sense of of uh, of, of 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 transcendent um, of transcendent influence. And whereas 
the Na'arim, the, the, at the end of the, of, the, of the prayer, we say that the, uh, that the young men require the party. They require this, and that the, the mission, the Yenasim, that they have this, this, um, this event with the song, that they require the song, and that this song brings them to the same state. So it's either the lower level that, that, is, that requires um, this outward stimulation, um, or the higher level, which, is, which has the more immediate effect, but either way, um, the, the, we, what, we're, what we are, we're praying that they both, that, that, that both of these processes um, reach the point that it allows us to understand creation um, in, its, in, its, in, 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 its, in its truest form. And ultimately, coming back to the beginning of the Mimer, ultimately, the, uh, we, we, we say, Eishas Chayla Teres Baila, that the Kala level, is actually going to be to ultimately be asserted as the as the ultimate, um, and so the Alter Rebbe explains that the uh, that that the nature of reality right now is that the child is um, is the is the is, is considered the lower level. The Naarim are considered the lower, um, but the, but ultimately the Alter Rebbe explains that the Naarim actually have their source far far higher, and that when Mashiach comes. They are going to that source will be revealed, and so what we're ultimately saying with these uh, with these blessings under the chuppah is that we are ultimately asking that the that we that we that we that we get to see the value in the kala, the value in the um, in the naarim.